Hello viewers and welcome again back to Honor Hunter Season 4. This is the final one of the season. Villarreal, Sevilla, Bayern Munich. All we need is one win in the league to secure the league title and then Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. Do I dare I say any more? Let's get on with it. Yes, viewers, not long now till the end of the season. But let's just have a little recap of the matches since we played Chelsea. Played Real Sociedad, beaten 3 0. Very convincing 3 0 did win. A 7 0 thrashing of Real Zaragoza for Danny Parejo scoring 4. Then another thrashing of Girona, a 4 0 win with Lorenzo, Ajo, with Loren Lorenzo scoring. Then a 2 0 win, Enrique Rio. I've been calling him Enrico Rio for all this time. He's called Enric. Enric Rio. Um, and Danny Pereira getting on the score sheet. So, Villarreal away, Sevilla away, Bayern Munich at Wembley. We are four points clear. We just need a win or a draw. So, looking at their team, they've got Pena in goal. Guillermon, remember, formerly of us, a giveaway penalty either earlier last season or this season. Mario Gaspar, still playing. Alberto Moreno, Trigueros, I'm surprised they managed to get you pulled of him. Gerard Moreno. Oh no, I'm thinking of um, Leo Baptiste Al. I, th I, th I thought he left to China. And former beloved of Valencia, Paco Alcacer. We've got another one on the bench. Nacho Vidal, former Valencia player as well. Vicente Bora, formerly of Leicester. And yeah. Let's get on with it. Oh, imagine if we can win the league against one of our fierce rivals. Villarreal are fifth, I think, at the moment. And they're doing very well this season. Yeah. Right. Lovely stuff. Enric Rio. I'm going to call him Enrico still. Enrico Rio. 1-0 up already. We are in the form of our life at the moment. And... Are we not getting a highlight? No. No, because I messed it up when I was playing on my own. Can we move that out there? No. Coop Miners. I think Coop Miners is playing in midfield. And it looks like we've got a penalty. The referee is going to have a wander over while uh, Guy and Trigueros, I think, are doing the salsa at the moment. Very nice. It's a penalty. Which means that. That. I don't know who's taking it. Is it Coop Miners? I think Coop Miners. Yep. Coop Miners steps up. You can't see it because of the leaderboard, but it doesn't matter. Coop Miners has got 11 goals this season and he's played the majority of the season as a centre back. Lovely finish. Estadio de la Ceramica. I like the name of that stadium. I actually quite like Villarreal Stadium. I quite like Villarreal to be honest. Crossed over, Bastoni heads wide and Oppenda has got the whole pitch to run into. Alberto Moreno comes over to cover and it's hit the side net. How very underwhelming. So as it stands, well, we will be top because, well, currently seven points clear, which is good. Bastoni. All the way back to the Dutch international, Nick Hoostings. And I don't think um, Gerard Moreno had his eye on the ball there. Maxime Lopez, who is going to be suspended for the final, so Enric Rio will probably come in. Crossed out and on to Viros. Clears away. Zeki Selly. This is a very long highlight. This better ended a goal for us. Bastone. Leon Bailey takes one brilliant touch and he's smacked it away. All that for that. We're playing okay. Only okay. Two minutes added on. Trigueros take a throw it. Take a corner. Corner. Free kick. What is going on? Disallowed. Because Leon Bailey was offside. 
does that work? Anyway, we press on. Uh, I'm I'm okay, but I'm, you know, I'm quite a bit annoyed. I think we could be way more in front. Selick punts the ball down the field. Soler, Openda, and I think the title is one viewers. We have won the league for the second year in a row, and this Valencia team will forever live on in my heart as arguably the best team I've ever managed. Carlos Soler, near post, Openda bags it. 3-0, Openda's 17 for the season. Openda, can we make it 4? Leon Bailey, Coop Miners off the post, cleared away by Gaspar and he's out for a corner. Leon Bailey crosses over and it's cleared wide and Soler is taking his sweet time. Kunde, Soler, Maxim Lopez, Coop Miners, Rio. This is lovely. Leon Bailey, great save by the keeper. Who is their keeper nowadays? Pena. Iñaki Pena, isn't he from... Yeah. From Barcelona. Barcelona! This is very uh, chilled, this episode. It'll probably vamp up uh, the closer we get to the Champions League final. Then Bailey crosses it over and it's off the post again. Like I said, the league wasn't our main concern this season, but to win it with a, a game to go is brilliant. <laughs> Kunde, Coop Miners. I was just talking to my to my friend about about um, this episode. Well, not this episode. This whole series. And if we win the Champions League, we've won more or less every trophy available with Valencia. The only thing we lack is the Club World Cup, which we're not going to win as we don't need to win it. I mean, it'd be nice, but if we're here for another season, then yeah. Trigueros with a free kick. Can he score? And he does. 3-1 and Villarreal have got a consolation goal. Let's watch this. Well, it's a good free kick. And there we go. It's full time. We have won the league once again. I mean, I don't sound like I'm, I'm that motivated for it, but I mean, we, we've been here, we've done that. This is just another extra trophy, isn't it? <laughs> we have won the treble, La Liga, uh, Copa del Rey and the Super Cup. We could make it the quadruple. Look at that, we've won it two years in a row. Little uh, update, Lucas Adams is actually having a really good season at Leganes. He's scored 10 goals in 30. Remember, he is only 17. Let's have a little look at the jobs available. I know the Chelsea job has become available. Barca, Chelsea, Napoli job is now available again. We are favourite for the Chelsea job. Now, I have said that I'm stepping down at the end of the season. Um, to hopefully, you know, move some managers around for when we eventually do leave. We're going to create a new section called Indie or Watch. Right, if you don't remember him, he used to play for Sevilla. In fact, he scored against us not long ago. He's incredible. He's been uh, nominated for Young Player of the Year. And he is having a very, very good season. Only 20 years old. Signing for 22 million a couple of years back. And he is... They are severe reaping the rewards. And strangely enough, we've got severe next. Carlo Ancelotti sacked by Man United. Would we take the United job? Absolutely not. I do quite fancy the Marseille job, but... How many... Risky jobs can you go for like that? I mean, they've got Andres Pereira. We don't want anything to do with players like that. I did want the Schalke job at one point. The Gladbach job is also available. I've also come up to another conclusion. That we are obviously going to leave Valencia at the end of the season. But I'm going to create... I'm going to save it in a different area. And I'm going to carry on with Valencia on my Twitch account. 
and you can watch me over there. You can see Enric Rio up close, you can see Nick Hustings up there. And I have been struggling over the, like, the past couple of days to actually want to stream. As I have a save with Rochdale at the minute, but I just can't really get into it. But I'm, I'm so into this Valencia save. And in a way, we're kind of stepping down at the wrong time. So I will be putting that on my Twitch stream. And uh, I, I am going to try and stream a lot more. As I have got a lot of time on my hands at the moment. And yeah, so I will leave my Twitch uh, details in the description. If you want to go over, just click the link or whatever. And uh, yeah, and follow me on Twitter as well because I'll put my update on that prior to streaming. Anyway, now all that admin is out the way, let's get on with Sevilla. I was looking round at uh, players. <laughs> You know, like you do. Look at this guy. Bergson Miotto. He's 26. He's only been playing football for a year. And he's insane. And he's, he's relatively cheap, really. And, um, yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd show him to you. <laughs> we were interested in getting Kyle Jordo. We were interested in getting Kai George, but I just couldn't be bothered paying more money for him because we just got our Pender and Diva Carigi at that point. Ronnie Lopez is the league top goal scorer and he plays for Sevilla. <laughs> Wednesday's episode is going to be purely on the season review. Our our time at Valencia, a review of that, a talk around the leagues because we didn't do that last season, so a talk around the around the seasons uh, that we've had at Valencia what players have moved where uh, managers have moved where who's won what you know the standard does feel a very long time ago since we started this series doesn't it I was just thinking then oh. I was so I was so nervous around you know filming myself but then, obviously, the more you do it, the more used to it you get, the more camera friendly you get, and the more talkative you get. I was very, uh, very professional first time round, but now I, I do like to uh, mess about a bit from here, here and there. Also, this weekend we will have Iron Giants Part Two, Part Two, Episode Two, coming out. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the first episode. I put a lot of work into that, and I. Again, I hope you're all enjoying that. I'm opening to broaden this channel into, you know, doing more things. Not just one save. Maybe doing some tutorials or... Or just talks in general about, you know, stuff like the Bundesliga's come back, so... Talking points, basically. Anyway, Danny Parejo's going to come in. Coop Miners. I have to play Coop Miners because he's just... How do Coop Miners and Bastone not have a partnership? Look at that, 11 goals, 8 goals, 16 goals, 10 goals, 17 goals. We've been formidable this season. We hung our hat a lot on Milik last season. So looking at their side, they've got uh, Thomas Vaklic, still in, I don't know to then. Uh, in goal, uh, Jan Yom still there, Guillermo Aran is still there, Ronnie Lopez top goal scorer. Wow! 25 goals and 17 assists. Jeez, I've never seen a player like that before. Oliver with Matias Palacios. He, I, I've probably said that he's a wonder kid somewhere. Still very good. Brian Gil. The main man to watch, Indio. With Munir up top. Roque Messer on the bench. Joan Jordan. Uh, is that Abdullahi Torre and Sergio Rico? Here we go, the penultimate game of the season. I'm, I'm getting nervous now for the Champions League game. Ronnie Lopez, who stings? Stings his hands. Giant throwing. Headed away, Oliver clears. Only as far as Leon Bailey. Why he's over there, I don't know. All the way back to who stings. 
on Altazeki Selif. Prejo playing his last league game for the club. We will be talking about him a lot tomorrow. Soler and Carlos Soler scores. That's his seventh of the season. In off the crossbar, Jose Gaia with the assist. Now, if you remember my first season, I said Jose Gaia would get uh, double figures for assists, and I think he ended on seven or eight. So I was, I was a bit, uh, a bit away with that one. I'm speaking of Jose Gaia. He's now injured. He has got ten assists this season. Well, eleven now. I hope it's not serious as we need him for the Champions League final as we already have players out <coughs> Maxime Lopez Arana over to the star Ronnie Lopez and Munir heads the ball comfortably into the hands of Nick Hustings I want to I've, I've just come up with an idea right now Maxime Lopez I will explain at the end of this uh, match uh, what my new idea is that I've just thought of the top of me just now, so it could be bad. I want to I want to interact with you more. I want I want to get this comment section going. Leon Bailey and the keeper collects. Yeah, I want I want to involve the uh, I want to involve you viewers more. I want to interact with you. I want to learn your experiences on the game, your regens. Just everything basically. Munir is through on goal and he's put it past the keeper, but I think he's offside. He is indeed. Ronnie Lopez, can he make something of this? He re honestly his stats this season are probably the best I've ever seen. Maxim Lopez plays through Luis Openda and the goalkeeper saves. Half time. I mean this game is quite irrelevant really, it's just about Fitness, I suppose. Although Gaia out injured is a massive blow for us. I hope he's not out for a long time. Rocky Messer has just come on for Ronnie Lopez, which is a bit weird. Enric Rio, Openda, can he score? Openda, and he scored again. Again. So let's go the first. And oh, Luis Openda is so underrated for this club. It's just a shame it took me about three quarters of the season to realise that. That is an incredible boy from ball from Enric R the boy. Yeah, an incredible boy. Uh, great ball from Enric Rio and Openda hits the post and it goes in two 0 Danny Prejo crosses over. Coop is off the bar. We've in the bar a lot today. And Munia has just went and sat down in the crowd. Leon Bailey is not feeling great, apparently. Right. Prejo crosses over. Koopman is off the bar again. Bloody hell, he, should, he could have had two. Munir. Brian. <laughs> Brian. That highlight was worth it just because it's called Brian. Free kick, this is in. Rocky Messa. Oh, what a save. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Ugh. I'm sorry, I apologise. I'm really going to miss these players when we leave. Baston, see? Nine goals this season from a centre back. So between Coop Miners and Bastone, we've scored 20 goals. Amazing. Opender! I'm looking at something else. <laughs> Opender scored. I'm just getting uh, something on here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right. Opender's through and Opender scored. <laughs> oh, I lack professionalism sometimes. He's got built there as one of the top goal scorers, hasn't he? A lovely way to end the season. The, the league campaign. Guardiola is having a horrible time. Oh, he's out for two weeks. We're going to have to give him the injection. Who played the least amount of games? James Milner. Get in. <laughs> James Milner. 
Right, let's have a look. Top goal scorers this season. He's nowhere near. He's fifth. But he did play way less games than the, everyone else. Danny Pirro got the same amount of goals as Leo Messi. No, he's not. I've just put him in the thingy. I've just put I've just put an injection in him. That that I shouldn't say that. Right, I'm very intrigued to see how Guardiola's career's actually gone. Right, so he was at City there. He resigned, actually, after winning the Europa League. John Dessie Milan. He won nothing. Then he went to Tottenham. Uh, he got knocked out by us. Oh my god, we, we sacked him. Then they hired him, he hired Vincent Company as his assistant manager, and then he got sacked. <gasps> can we can we get Vincent Company? Wow. Wow. Vincent Company's coming with us at our new Oh. He's coming with us at our new job. But I just saw there, Carlo Angelotti's linked with AC Milan. And any retro football fans would love to see that. Here we go, awards time. Um Manu Trigueros has been named player of the year. How? <laughs> Alcacer wins Spanish top goal scorer. Danny Pereira came third despite the fact that he is a midfielder. What more does he need to do? Courtois is crap. <laughs> Yeah, he might have a higher rating this time. But he got 19 clean sheets in 37 games. 38 games, 26, 21 clean sheets. So he's got two clean sheets more with one game more. How is he not winning it? Yeah. Thank you. I've won the manager of the year once again and deserve to do so. So... Our whole defence got in Team of the Year. Nice to see. Parejo and Leon Bailey. I'm disappointed that I know. Carlos Soler and Kunde. Where's that Opina? Is it called Opina? I, I forgot his name. Openda. Oh god. AC Milan signed Kurt Zuma. Zuma? On a downside, James Milner doesn't want to sign a new contract. Very disappointed. But it's alright, we'll get him at our new club. Still favourite for the uh, Chelsea job. And the United job. Davide Ancelotti. Please tell me. <gasps> Carlo Ancelotti. Right, we're getting him as assistant manager. <laughs> we're, getting, we're signing everyone. Jimmy Milner's retiring. Which means we can get him as assistant manager. Manager of the month. 100%. Thank you very much. And our loanee, Alessandro Pereira. Also getting player of the month. He does look a tidy young player. Why are you talking to me about Raul Zaragoza's goalkeeper being put on the transfer list when we're in the press conference for the Champions League final? Hold me in. Come on. Well, that went well. Sarcasm. Who is this guy? Oh, wow, he's been at Bayern Munich the whole time. Yeah, well, he's not playing. Bruno Gimmerash is not playing. Whew. I'm scared. Jose Guy is playing. Or Penda is playing. Coot Miners is playing. And that's the team. Oh god, I feel nervous. Let's have a look at their team. Alexander Nubal in goal. Kimmich, Sula, Pavard and Lucas Hernandez. Basically the back five is all still there. Edson Alvarez from Ajax, he's a very good holder midfielder. Leon Goretzka and Julian Brion. And Julian Brandt. Philip Coutinho, Serge Navarre. 
What about Lewandowski? Well, uh, who have they got on the bench? Wagge, Quisans, Xerxes, Alfonso Davis, Jonathan Tarr, Thiago, Arp, Alaba, Talisa. What is even the point? Right, this game is going to be played in 3D. Playing on extended highlights as well to build up a bit of tension. And we're 10 seconds in and nothing. We're not scored yet. That's proper highlight. Selic, Parejo, over to Soler. Plays it out onto the wing to Openda. Not really anyone in the box. Carlos Soler's gone for it and he's hit the bar. Oh, I thought I was in for a second. I was about to jump up screaming. Very bright start to the game for us. The players are frustrated. I was inspired. Those are guys on the yellow card. If he gets sent off, then oh, that'd be so annoying. Well, it's half time. We're on, we're on uh, extended highlights and we were getting nothing. Bayern Munich kick off the second half. And they look very comfortable on the ball. No, they don't. Carlos Slayer get the ball into Opender. He will score. Opender! Opender scored! Get in! Opender has scored. That man is. He's a club legend. Club legend. I said the man, the myth, the legend in the last episode. He has just made that a reality here. Carlos Soler crosses over to Opender who smashes it in at the near post. We need to watch out for uh, Soler. We're going to take Soler off because he always gets sent off in big games like this. Oh wow, and that brought me out. Ferran Torres over to Danny Pereira. I think we might get Pereira off at some point as well. I don't know because if we get a penalty. Mind you, we've got two minors, it's fine. Bastoni. Over to Torres. Opendus through. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think he were going to score there anyway. Right, we need. We need, we need someone here. I, I can't make. Right, Thiago Almada's coming on. Throw in. Zeki Selic throws in. Coop Miners. That looks like to be on the edge of the box to me. Cue the elevator music. What's your bet? I'm betting a free kick. It's a free kick. Well, let's return to normality. <laughs> nice little boogie there. Thiago Mada. And nothing really happens from these free kicks anyway. And Gnabry has tripped someone. And they've got a free kick. Jose Guy is having an awful game anyway. So we will take him off. <laughs> Let's bring James Milner on! James Milner! James Milner, Champions League final. He's done it once, he can do it again. Honestly, if we can see Darwin's left on the side, no. <laughs> Eight minutes to go. Squeaky bum time. Coop Manners. This is not good. This is not good. Serge Gnabry. I don't think Bayern Munich have had a highlight yet. Serge Gnabry. He's put it wide. Woo. Corner. We're well, very good from these. Coop Miners 2-0. You heard it here first. Crossover. Oh. <laughs> Jean-Pierre is crap, so it doesn't matter. I'm surprised he got it on target. I'm surprised he could hit it that hard. One of the worst signings we've ever made. It's Torres. It's so over the top. Up in this room. Oh no. <laughs> I'd have put me house on him scoring that. Five minutes to go. I 
think, I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've won the Champions League. I'm sat on my legs here. Ah. Danny Perejo. We've done it! We've won the Champions League! Wow! No way! Oh my days, I'm in shock. They even are buying to win that. Lewis Alpendi, you are a club legend. I'm so sad, my legs here. I can't feel my leg, I've got a cramp. Oh my days. Oh. As if we won. As if we won the quadruple. Oh. I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm in shock. I really am. James Milner. <laughs> Valencia fans worship Baron. We were 40 to 1 to win it at the start of the season. We have never won the Champions League. Look at that. And we're still under bloody favoured personnel. We have won our first ever Champions League. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this has been such a a roller coaster of emotions. Joining Valencia, I genuinely thought that we wouldn't we probably wouldn't even win the league here. I thought I saw it as a stepping stone. But look at that. Well, I don't understand why Arigi is there. There we go, Nick Hustings has won the goalkeeper of the season in the Champions League and Divo Carrigi has won the Champions League one. He did score 4 in 8, so put some respect on the name. Oh, what an absolute roller coaster. Europa League last season, Champions League this season. There we go. We have left Valencia, a club I hold so close to my heart. And what a way to have done it. What an absolute amazing season. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. God, the camera's a bit dark, isn't it? It's getting a bit dark in here. Um, yeah, what a season we've had. And uh, tomorrow we will be having a review of how our season has gone, our time at Valencia and the whole series up to date. So, uh, yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.